<laughs> okay, I'm going to show you my Daya. I have soft spot for her. I get it. <laughs> okay, she's actually. Is just, she alive? Yes, or? she is. She's alive. She's just sleeping in the kennel. Here, how's that for alive? Oh, she swims. Yeah, she does everything. She's perfect. She's one of my favorite dogs in the shelter. How long has she been in the shelter? I'm not sure. I think three years. Three years? Is that normal? Well, normally, yeah. And sometimes even longer. It depends, I think. It's not really that long then for a no-kill shelter. I know. Sometimes it feels unfair. Yeah. Does she have a story that you know? Well... Yeah, she was a stray. She gave birth to 10 puppies on the street and someone called the shelter and we picked her up, her and the whole family. I think they were newborns when we got them. Oh, was this them? Yeah, I think they are about two months old here. I don't have any photos of them with the mum. They were in a foster home for the first months and then they were brought to the shelter. So they were separated from Daya? Yes, we always do that after the puppies reach a certain age. They were so cute when they were young. And we tried to promote them. We did. We had this photo shoot one morning. <laughs> oh, with the helium balloons. Oh, they look so cute. Did that get any, any of them adopted? No, it didn't. We kept trying with Christmas photos and videos. I do have an entire video dedicated to her puppies, actually. We had them pose, each one with a New Year's resolution. Oh, that's cuteness personified. Yeah, I know. This video was posted in December 2015. And most of them are still waiting in the shelter. Your style has changed over the years. You mean video-wise? Yes. So how many of them have been adopted so far? Oh, from Daya's puppies, I think five of the ten. So Bashful, Puka, Broco, Ari and Box are still here. Roughly how old would they be now? Oh, I think about two and a half, three years old maybe. And that would make Daya about four. Hmm. Which means that she would have had her puppies at about a year old or less. Yeah, probably. Oh, I just love her. She looks so beautiful. Is she well-mannered? Yeah, beautiful, maybe I wouldn't say. To most people, dogs with her looks are too average. I think that's why she's continuously overlooked. But well-mannered, yes, she's perfect. When she doesn't sleep. <laughs> you know, actually, the fact that she can sleep here with other dogs barking and the volunteers coming and going and me with a camera standing in front of her tells a lot about her. She's a strong, confident woman, actually. <laughs> okay. Does she do anything else but sleep? <laughs> yes. yes, she does. Okay, look, this footage is from that video I did about a year ago. Dear mom, blah, blah. Do you remember it? It's supposed to be... A letter from a shelter dog to a woman who could have adopted her but didn't... Uh, almost mother. Yes. So I needed a woman and I needed a dog. This friend of mine agreed to be the almost mother. And of course I picked Daya to be the dog who supposedly writes the letter because Daya was the only one who could do it all. Like... Like pretend to be dead in the kennel. Yeah, <laughs> apart from that. Yeah, I know what you mean. She could sleep in the kennel and come for cuddles and kisses when asked to. And be happy and fun and roll in the grass. Yeah, and walk on a leash. She walks very well on leash too. And for the video, I needed her to be in a home-like environment. So we got her to the shelter's office where there's a sofa and a coffee table. Mm, like and, a living room. Yeah, and she had to lay on Esmeralda's feet and be quiet and cute. And she did. She did everything she was asked. She's perfect. And of course... She swims. She swims. She sits for a treat and she's perfect. How is she with other dogs? Oh, she's fine. She was Petra's best friend. Remember Petra? Oh, yeah, I do. Looks more like Petra's bitch <laughs> best friend. <laughs> she, had, she had a thing for Petra. I think she was in love. She would just follow her around and lay in front of her and literally beg for Petra's attention. And the more Petra ignored her, the more she'd beg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. So, she has no problems, no anxieties, fears or trust issues. No, normally when you adopt a shelter dog, you might need to work a bit with him. But I swear, Daya is the dog that will come home and behave perfectly. Okay, her children might have some issues. Is that because they grew up in a shelter? That's all they know? Exactly. So some trust issues and some socialization is needed. It's the problem with all dogs that grow up in shelters. They get a bit institutionalized. Exactly. Well, nothing that can't be fixed. But uh, yeah. So all that's needed now is a home for Daya. Oh my God, yes. Yes. Okay, her children too. But Daya... I've been trying for so long. She almost got adopted once, but yeah, it didn't work out. Or it wasn't meant to be. Maybe. Do you think there's someone out there for my Daya? 
Surely there must be. She seems a perfect dog. She is. And her perfect human must be out there. Do you think her perfect human will be watching now? If they are, then they should email savergreekstray at info at savergreekstray.com. All links are in the description below, of course. And if they have any questions about her, they can also email me at support at theorphanpet.com. I will be more than happy to answer any questions they might have about her or her offsprings. They were cute when they were tiny, weren't they? They still are cute. <laughs> okay.